Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are talking about two phones that I actually had as daily drivers and the actually the iPhone 6 Plus was my first iPhone I ever owned personally as my daily driver that I used every single day and the 7 Plus is my current daily driver. So let's see how they both compare whether you should save money and get the 6 Plus or you should spend a little bit more money and get the 7 Plus. Now the phones are two years apart from each other but they are very, very, very different phones, okay? I've had both as daily drivers like I said. Really the only similarities are kind of the shape of the body but other than that the bodies are completely different the 7 plus looks so much better than the 6 plus the 6 plus isn't ugly though but the 7 plus just looks so much better and the 6 plus looks a little bit dated now but overall they have almost the same body size the same size screen apparently the screen is brighter on the 7 plus but i honestly don't think it is i don't know i can't really tell the 7 plus does have the updated touch id though and there's so many other colors that come out with the 7 plus that the 6 plus does not have and i'm just such a fan of jet black on the 7 plus it looks so sleek now i don't find this next thing i'm about to say super important but a lot of you guys do so i have to say it the 6 plus does keep the headphone jack i it's not really important to me anymore i thought it was like when i went from the 6s plus to the 7 plus i honestly thought like my world was going to change my life was going to, i thought like my parents wouldn't be my parents anymore and i would like drop out of school and all that stuff but it didn't happen all I had to do was get some Beats Solo headphones and then I just went with it. So you honestly do like adapt pretty easily. So if you're hesitant about the headphone jack thing, it's really not that big of a deal. People overhype it like crazy. I honestly don't know why they do that. Now the camera did get a humongous update from the 6 Plus to the 7 Plus. So the 6 Plus had a 8 megapixel camera and at the time it was okay, it was pretty good. But the 7 Plus has a dual 12 megapixel camera sensor on the back. The photo quality honestly were pretty similar in outdoor conditions as I always say, but the 7 Plus is able to shoot 4k videos it's able to zoom in much further with the second lens that it has and it supports portrait mode and i just find overall just using it photos you know there's a little bit more blur effect on the back but the 6 plus has optical image stabilization which is cool the 7 plus also has it but the photos between the two are surprisingly different they're completely they're not the same devices and if you plan on doing any photographs like taking pictures of your kids or whatever you might want to step up to the 7 plus in this sense but if you just use a picture to send a snapchat to like the two friends as you have then like you honestly could the 6 plus is fine now turning both on we have ios 11 on both devices and both of them should be getting ios 12. the betas of that are actually coming out next month so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos i'm doing about those because i'm going to be thoroughly testing that on all the devices that i have and now swinging it back to ios 11 it really wasn't good for any iphone really it's been universally bad on every single iphone i've ever owned and this is basically how i've been saying it i think it increased overall performance that ios 11 did but it just brought so many bugs and problems that it really wasn't worth it like it wasn't a fair trade-off um but the speed and everything is a night and day difference between these the 6 plus has one gigabyte of ram where the 7 plus has three gigabytes of ram and it's crazy how much faster the 7 plus is you know the 6 plus just seemed like and i said this before the 6 plus just has a hard time opening apps keeping apps open Open when you're multitasking even small things like getting the keyboard to pop up and getting the camera to pop up and taking a photo and all that stuff all those little like milliseconds it takes to you know open up these apps it just adds up over time and it's just super weird with the 7 plus it's almost instantaneous usually i would have to compare phones side by side in order to get a huge difference between the two but honestly you could have the 6 plus in a different country and you'd be able to see how much slower the 6 plus is compared to the 7 plus but i do remember when i had my 6 plus it was on ios 10 and it honestly wasn't too bad it wasn't horrible or anything i used it just fine but when i jumped up to the 6s plus i noticed how much of a huge jump it was the 7 plus however doesn't feel slow at all um it's really only a year and a half so it shouldn't be slow at all yet and the 7 plus has the apple a10 fusion chip where the iphone 6 plus just has the apple a8 chip which isn't horrible or anything but you know it's you know it's really not too comparable here and really the only way the 6 plus beats the 7 plus i did find the 6 plus battery life to be pretty good the 7 pluses isn't bad but but I'm not too sure why it's not as good as the 6 Plus is. And I think I have a reason why. And if you switch back to the video I made like two or three days ago about the battery theory on iPhones, you should definitely check that out. That's a that's definitely one of the most interesting videos I've ever done. So make sure you check that out. So with all of that being said, should you save your money and get the 6 Plus or should you spend more and get the iPhone 7 Plus? And in 2018, without a doubt, the 
answer to that question will be answered right when we get back from these commercial breaks. Just kidding guys, you should definitely spend a little bit more money and get the iPhone 7 Plus. Now I do think there's a probably like a $200 difference between the 6 Plus and the 7 Plus, but it's definitely worth the money to upgrade. I see no reason, I mean the 6 Plus is probably going to stop getting updates at iOS 12, whereas 7 Plus is probably going to get iOS 14, so you should definitely get the 7 Plus, set yourself up for success, you just get so many more features, you get portrait mode, much better camera, force touch, a much speedier phone, and all those other things man it makes absolutely no sense to get a 6 plus i mean if you have an iphone 6 plus now i guess you can stick with it but there's really no reason to go out of your way to get an iphone 6 plus now and guys that is pretty much it if you agree with me or disagree with me please let me know in the comment section below i read all the comments i'd be happy to hear what you guys have to say definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed the video but definitely hit that subscribe button we are just dude it's crazy how fast the channel is growing right now and i definitely appreciate every single subscriber we get so we're hitting goals on goals and i really it's just humbling every single time someone hits the subscribe button check out the links in the description as well my soundcloud my second channel all that stuff my links to my websites are all in the description i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then